believe what we just found here in Washington, D.C., where they allow aliens, both legal and illegal, to vote in our local elections for mayor, for D.C. council, etc. 113 non-citizens voted in the June 2024 presidential primary. Now, they're not supposed to be able to vote in the presidential primary, and if indeed that did occur, that would be a federal crime. Of course, it's bad enough that aliens are voting for local officials in our nation's capital. That means ambassadors from Russia and China could potentially vote, and of course, non-citizens generally are voting, negating the votes, in my view, of legal citizen residents. Congress needs to shut this down, but in the meantime, Judicial Watch is going to investigate and push hard to expose the truth about this attack. Illuminati is a thing you need to watch out for. They want to depopulate and save us so much more. World domination, I'll get into that later. I'm hardcore, fierce, and sexy. You're just a hater. You deserve the ridicule because you're an absolute zero. I'm the keeper of the chalice, a rock and roll hero. I'm not an idiot nobody listens to because I'm not a failure at life like you. Let's talk about the gates and the mark of the beast and the orgies in the streets at the Catholic feasts and Bill and Hillary's human trafficking ring. And George Soros got the money to pay for everything. Socialism is for losers, working for the devil, chumps that can't fight, they end on my level. It takes an evil one to try to debunk a doubter, so I'd rather die to stop talking about it. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out for the Illuminati. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out for the Illuminati. Watch out for the Illuminati. Watch out for the Illuminati. So, the Keklosaurus campaign, also known as the campaign of Kuntamala Harris, is in full swing, folks. It's in full swing. And uh, they want to hit those swing states. They want to get every vote. And when I say every vote, I mean every vote, both legal and illegal. And the Democrats keep claiming, well, you have to be a citizen in order to vote. You have to be a citizen in order to vote. But if you could trick people into thinking you're a citizen, you could trick them to think you're eligible to vote. Am I right? Now, here it is. It's a whopping triple digit of non-citizens which I like to call illegal trespasses voting and they and their vote counted for local elections and the presidential primary. Ho 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 the presidential primary. That is a federal crime, folks, a federal crime. Uh just like Tom said there. And uh yeah, man. This is illegal. And you're trying to tell me the evil left doesn't want the illegals to vote. The, you're trying to tell me the evil left does not want its trespasses, our, the trespasses into our land that we won in a war from Great Britain to vote. And the proof is in the pudding right there. Look at D.C., the pulpit, the pulpit of the architects of the New World Order, the one world totalitarian socialist society, the utopia that they want to create to enslave people like me and put me on my hands and knees in the hot Carolina sun picking cotton. Oh, that's so inflammatory. How far from the truth is it really, though? Examine that with an open mind. How far from the truth is that really? These people are that sick, I tell you. And they'll try to tell you that Donald Trump is a threat to democracy. Well, what the hell do you call having people trespass into the country... 
vote for the opposition of realism. Vote for them with all their woke ideologies. And they don't even have that woke agenda, these, some of these um, illegal trespassers. They don't care as long as they're uh, uh, robbing and raping and pillaging, which they're doing in the process in between voting for Democrats. Don't, don't get me started with the names of the victims again. You know the names of the victims already. And, and, and the Democrats are allowing for this to happen. They're, they're setting it up for this to happen. They are the scummiest scum of the earth, I tell you. This is why I say everything left of center is just sick. It's pure evil, I tell you. It's pro ball sack hanging over the shoulder of a child sick. The Democratic Party has become a wing of the Communist Party. They become the lapdog of the CCP. They become the hopefuls to resurrect the ways of the former Soviet Union. Our great forefathers have fought a war with Great Britain for freedom. Freedom! And it's the Democrats, not the Republicans, the Democrats that want to take that away from us. And they have the gall to call Donald Trump a threat to democracy. They have the gall, the audacity to call Donald Trump Donald Trump, a threat to democracy. But they can allow illegals to pour in these trespasses. They could set things up for these trespasses to pour in, vote for them, and then rape and pillage in between. And do nothing to solve the problem except offer more control of the law-abiding citizen. And then on top of that, who is their leading hopeful? Not their confirmed, not their confirmed nominee yet. They have a confirmed nominee. His name is Joe Biden. But now they want to swap him out for somebody that so few wanted that they that she got a fraction of a single percentage point of support in 2020. Now all of a sudden everybody's happy? I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I don't buy that at all. Kamala Harris is an incompetent, word-salad-tossing, cackling clown, a DEI candidate, and failed border czar. We've been to the border, she says. We've been to the border. You know who's been to the border? Ted Cruz, picking up all kinds of colored wristlets. Different colored wristlets. Each color, you know what it represents? It represents which cartel the person wearing that wristlet owes money to. And he knew that, but Director of Home Security, Alejandro Mayorkas, didn't. That's a man who not only should be a peach, he should be imprisoned. And Chuck Schumer tabled the impeachment inquiry. The blood of Jocelyn Nungary is not only on the hands of Joe Biden and Alejandro Mayorkas, it's also on the hands of Chuck Schumer. And since silence is approval, 
Silence is like a rubber stamp. Rubber stamp Gillibrand also has the blood of that innocent little 12-year-old girl on her hands. And you know who else does? Kamala Harris. A.K.A. the Cacklosaurus, A.K.A. Kuntamala Harris. There are so many levels of hell where the left belongs. Crime runs rampant because of the Democrats. And they got the gall to call not one but two men at the head of the Republican ticket who risked their lives for this country weird. Make it make sense, folks. Make it make sense. They're obviously of a people that don't respect God. Because look at the Olympic ceremony that they were cheering and that they approved of. Respect God. Watch out for the Illuminati. Follow and share my content. Also, uh, shout out to Tom Fitton of uh, Judicial Watch. Stay strong, keep kicking that slang. I'm MC Too Tall.